I wonder why it's taking me so long to load today. I'll take catapult one, it's right there and next to me. Okay. Why is SRS not connected? Does it make sense? I just fucking. Yeah. I suppose I could take cat three. Oh, there we go. Yep. Starting her up. Actually, you know what? Uh, You think two bags of gas is going to be enough? We're, uh, we're bringing one. One should be enough. Okay, just center line. Yeah. Really not that far from our objective. Does this interface change? Because I can't select these these pylons. Oh, got it, got it, never mind. Stupid. Got stu I got stupid. <clears throat> Alright, I just removed those two bombs and now I'm just going to get her started. No AMRAMs? We're not a lot of AMRAMs, right? Yeah, uh, one. We have one. On the right on cheek. Yep. Okay. There's a counterbalance to TGP pod. Starting her up. Do you guys run the lightning or the AT flare for this mission? Lightning. At least, yeah, the lightning. Five three, calm one check. Sorry about that. Two five two. It's pulling up. Calm one check. Calm so aren't up for some reason. Sell the copy. Okay, uh, common ground, common freak, common ground, guard freak, uh, radio check. Copy radio check. Oh, I heard you. Uh, wasn't sure if that was 252 or 253. Mine isn't set yet. 52? Five five two. Yep, I got you 52 common. I don't hear you. Can you give me a radio check? On what, 52 or 53? 52. 252 radio check. Hold on. Uh, 
Five two, ready for? Yeah, I got you on five two. Did you get me? No. Also, oh, okay, two five two. Anybody else hear me? Yeah, I heard you on two five two. Okay. I heard you when you last relayed. Yeah. That's that's. Uh, I'm using com two for uh, for that. Yeah, Roger. My plane was still starting up, though. I haven't set my radios at all. So, Frank, for SRS, do I just use the upfront control to dial in my radios, or is there a little interface? They're, they're already set. So, oh, okay. um, so the the left uh, radio uh, is COM one, as it says, and the right one is COM two. So, right now, internally, between our flight, uh, it should be set to channel two for uh, two five three. It should say 253 once you scroll it up to channel 2. Right, that's on my no, COM 1. Uh, and then COM 2 is channel 1, which is on uh, common guard. Got it. I, I was probably transmitting on the wrong free. I'm going to mute my uh, team speak. Um, Pack. I'm on two five two now. Already it's got two five two guard. Yep. Uh, so two on five two, five, two, I got you. So on two five two, everyone will be able to hear everyone in both flights, but um, we're on one two seven, correct? On the uh, Merlin flight. Yep. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm gonna can mute you, up. Can you give another radio check? I thought I heard you there for a second. Two five three radio check. Yeah, two five three. You got me. It says you're speaking, but but what you're not hearing me. But yeah, like it doesn't show how many clients are on this channel. How many clients are on? Because sometimes on the radio overlay, it'll tell you how many people are connected, like to that channel. Yeah. So COM1 is set to channel 2, which is a 253. 253, radio check. Nobody heard me? Okay, let's try uh, uh, Common Ground 252. 252, radio check. Yeah, I see that like my radio overlay is saying like it's appearing white as if someone's talking on it, but I'm not hearing it. Very weird. Can you hear somebody else? I don't know. No one's radio checked. Ryder, can you radio check on two five two? I can hear you on two five two. So you're putting out. You got your volumes up? Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna change, disconnect, and change. Where did, where did, oh, there we go. I think I got it. 253. I got you 253. Okay, how about me 253? All right. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, that, good. All right, go ahead. Hey, I, he I heard you guys on 252, and I went to uh, channel 1252, and you guys didn't hear me reply for some reason. I don't know why. But myself and Misha hear each other fine on 127. 252, ready to check? Yeah, I heard that. Yep, got it. Got it. I heard you. I'm go. showing uh, my first radio on 243. Mm, that should be on channel 2. Calm one should be Let me check something. Two. So, so I'm going to go to uh, comms 1 right now. You should be good to go there. The two There's little two, five, knobs, two. Uh, Bob, on the, on the bottom corners. Come check on guard. Uh, the bottom left one, if you scroll wheel down, huh. it'll... You guys didn't hear that. It'll choose nope. the, uh, the channels. Yeah, I'm sure 252, but I'm, I didn't hear it either. I'm connected yeah, to server, VoIP, game, Yep. Two but five not two. lot ATC, yeah. whatever that neither. is. Yeah. Like a local ATC. 252. Okay. Yeah, me neither. Um, Misha heard me on 252, but none of you guys There's did. There's so much screen tearing. What is the Some weird stuff. 
It's all right, though. Um, it's not like we need to be on guard necessarily. Uh, it's not like an emergency for right now. Yeah, um, six, you heard 252? Two two. You heard that? Six? Yep. I heard oh. that. Yeah, I heard 252. Yeah, channel one on com one should be 252, and you can click guard when you open it. Fresh 5 by 5 Beautiful. And then 253 should be on COM2, channel 2. Alright, I'm gonna mute up. Yeah, me too. Um, my channels are, ch the freaks are changing in my radio now. It's 243 and 252. Oh, okay. You should be able to change it back on COM2, channel 2. I've had that happen before. I think it's a glitch. I'm gonna go ahead and request fuel chalks. Okay, 15,000 to uh, waypoint one after we are clear. Mom at what, seven? DME seven. 74. Okay, right? I'm gonna go ahead and. Um... Okay, attack is set. All right, zero two zero is good. All right, zero two zeros uh, heading for cat two. Zero two zero, ready to take off. I'll trail you.
10 degrees up to waypoint 3. on guard, just then, whatever you did, I was able to do you. Uh, too strong. Yeah, I'm gonna start to turn to uh, one now. to my uh all right i'm following you i'm passing under you so put that does You're right, uh, about uh, 11, zero, one, zero. 11. Okay, copy. Showing about 30 miles. Yep, copy on that. Alright, you're gonna continue up to 15, 15,000? Yep, continue up to 15 to 5 degrees. I'm going to offset slightly to the right because it uh, looks like I'm right below you. Copy. I'm coming down. I'm at like inches 15 feet. I got you off my nose. Alright, leveling off 15. Hearing him on guard. Yeah, but yeah, I was hearing pretty good. Same with you. My airspeed's down to 210. Well, let's play. This is Dodge 1 1. Uh, we're hearing you transmit right. over um, guard for you. Huh, I'm on 127. I don't know why. You're passing the level off at age of 26, and I'll get my radio set up. Level at 26. You're steady about 375. Knots. Uh, 378. Okay, uh, we're on the 
Go ahead and throw off my uh, strobe lights at uh, 5 nautical from waypoint 1. Okay, Roger. Uh, zero, uh, two zero, roger. roger. Airspeed is uh, 318 and slightly climbing. I'm at about 98% for us. I want to go ahead and turn, turn down uh, COM1 to no volume for now. Okay, I want to see if I can zoom in. Uh, are you hearing me, Frank? I am on uh, two five uh, two common. You guys can go ahead and uh, turn off strobes and turn and turn up. You can turn on uh, position lights or formation lights. Okay, making right for waypoint 2, 0, 6, 9. Yeah, roger. Uh, 0, 8, 3, correction. Well, once I'm leveled off at uh, 0, 8, 3, I'm going to climb to Angels. Uh, 3, 0. Comp 1, 2, 5, 2. Roger. We can climb at uh, about 5 degrees, which... Okay, zero two zero, uh, right behind you. Alright, we just passed 20,000. I thought I should be seeing you guys on my SA page, but uh, I'm not seeing you. I have Dale Lincoln, I have Beth Hall. Is that magic then in front of you? No, I have Charlie in front of me, which I believe is six. Let me see. 
Okay. Oh no no, that's you. Are you yeah, that that'd be you. No, I I'm at your uh I'm at your uh five o'clock, four o'clock. Okay then that, yeah, then that's six man. I have him as Charlie on my SA. Roger, uh, I've got Bravo in front of me on the uh, on the SA page. About 20 miles to go. Okay, code punched into uh, the bombs. Uh, Fleur is warming up. I'm working on that too. Six miles to waypoint for me. I'm about a mile or so behind you. Yeah, I'm happy that. <clears throat> okay, 
I have your visual. Me. Yeah, same here. No, he won't be able to fire though. They have a maximum of four miles. Okay, I've got the uh, flare locked on uh, waypoint three. Uh, probably not seeing it from this uh, vantage yet. Looks like there's a ridge blocking my view. I can resolve the buildings now. Yeah, although the uh, overhead doesn't do justice to uh, the building uh, identification. For some reason, my uh, CGP pod is not locking on to the location. Okay, I identified it. Uh, I will target the uh, northwest building, the far northwest building, with the two HVAC boxes on top. Okay, copy.
of uh, 0.5 at the lowest. Yeah, my uh, I'm I'm a little low, but I'm I'm almost ready to drop. Zero two zero weapon away. Yeah, I missed, uh, looks like it impacted just in front. Well, as long as it's sitting near the buildings, that, that do enough damage. All right, I'm off south, uh, and uh, going ahead, set up for another run. Copy. Uh, for some reason I can't get my uh, TCP pod to target doesn't he? I don't know what it's doing. Yeah, uh, is, it, is the T-pod at all uh, going to waypoint 3? No, not at all. Okay, you have waypoint 3 selected and then hit the waypoint designate? <clears throat> yep. Uh, yeah, you might just have to go ahead and manually look for it uh, by slewing the, uh, the TGP then. I'm inbound for uh, the building next to it. Copy. Yeah, building next to it, same side. Roger, great. I see that you targeted the one with the HVAC. Yeah, it's got the two HVACs on the roof. Yeah, the one in the middle. The, yeah, there's a, I, I know which one you targeted. Yep, and the one that I'm going to, the one next to it now. Small one or the big one? It's the one in the same side, the small square one. Okay, I'll just watch the splash run to GP pod so I know which targets you hit. Alright, uh, I am off to the northwest. I uh, wasn't able to, to get at it. Uh, so you're, you're clear. Okay. 
you can uh, start targeting the, the buildings maybe across the street, the, net, the three across the street from the building. And I'll continue to work the same side. All right, I'll be looking for you. I'm also headed north, north, uh, west. Highest for the past 16. Call off and uh, I'll make my way in. Yep, I'm, I'm banging in for my target now. Yeah, well, Seth, Bingo will be 3500. Okay. I didn't see the splash. Okay, you're clear to go in. Okay, inbound, uh, 30 seconds to release.
020 pickle. Five seconds. Uh, yep, Roger. Uh, I'm going to go for the one right next to it, same side. Roger. I'm off to the south, uh, coming uh, south to north. Fine, Gresson. Unless you want to go back in. Uh, I'm outbound. Okay, I'll be on this. Get painted. Roger. Same. Roger. Bob, you hear us on uh, guard? I watched my bomb hit the ground, but it didn't blow up. Uh, fusing. Uh, 
Not showing a solution. Yeah, I'm not showing a solution. Heading uh, northwest, uh, reset uh, north to south run. Funny, the flight path uh, marker is on the line, but I'm showing 14 degrees off center. Maybe that's why it's not showing a, uh, a solution. Uh, no, I'm heading out uh, northwest, uh, ready for another, uh, try another run from the, uh, from the northwest. Copy, I'm coming in from the south, 22 knock, we out. Okay. Roger, AFK, one minute. Good copy. Okay, I'm back. I'm turning inbound. 20 miles from the target. From the north. Copy. Um, 
six nautical out from the target coming from the south. Releasing in nine seconds. Yeah, I crash landed. I was relaying to you, but you couldn't hear me. I don't know why. Yeah, the radios are just terrible. Kind of screwed up at this point, I think. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know if it's the F-16 or how I've got, uh, you know, uh, SRS set up. I just have continuous problems with it. Yeah, me too. Anyway, I turn to base now. I'm trying to figure out which runway I'm going to land on. Yeah, Roger. That both of them are clear. Um, I left the server, so I didn't. I didn't blow up on the runway or anything. I just uh, as soon as I hit the fucking tarmac, okay, 20 miles, uh, went out of control, inbound. went into a fence. Copy. Uh, don't feel bad. I'm about to land, and I'm sure I'll have the same kind of ending because <laughs> I'm over speed and a little too high. Yeah. And I'm too lazy to go around. Yeah, I've had no yep, comms uh, the whole mission. Confirm your, oh, that's uh, terrible, man. Uh, we were able to communicate with each other right burning. up until I was on my final yeah, approach, and then for some bad. random reason, I could hear hit, uh, Misha, but he couldn't hear okay, me. Yeah, uh, 67, uh, 60 seconds to release. Yeah, I can't transmit. I mean, I can hear my flight, but I can't transmit, so... Oh, do you have uh, your button mapped for push to talk on uh, SRS? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I, yeah. Was tra I was transmitting blind in the guard, and no response. Oh man. So I didn't drop any weapons. I didn't even get in the AO because I'm not on comms with them. So I'm just I jettisoned mm -hmm. everything. I'm flying back to the boat. Yeah, I hear you. I couldn't even get my uh, targeting pod to lock waypoint four. Uh, it was driving me nuts. And by the time I got there, it was right okay, right under me. To release. Yeah, I must have screwed something up because I couldn't even pull my targeting pod up. Huh. I don't know, it's weird, man. I, I go like a single player and I practice the targeting pod and I get it and it works. I get in here and it won't lock the waypoint. Uh, I didn't so, like, I'm that. just in the wind where the hell I'm looking. I, have one more bomb left. Um, I can never get it narrowed down to, like, where I'm supposed to be looking, so... I end up flying around forever. But when, it, when I'm in single player and I freaking, um... Like pickle, Misha said, pickle. scroll from waypoint 3 to 4 or whatever, it, it'll lock that waypoint. Alright, I survived. Right, up from the, Popped the a tire though. Nice. Roger, uh, continue. And I did south. not hit the fence, but boy, was I close. <laughs> yeah, I landed with all my ordnance and my fuel tank, so I was freaking flying oh, down there. Yeah, way. so you should have dropped those in the in the bay. Oh, uh, true. Lasers popped on. Good scratch. Roger. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set up for the last run for my uh, my last bomb. Copy. Uh, so you're gonna come back in and give it a, another bomb. try, or are we mission complete for now? Um, if you want to go ahead, feel free. I don't think I have it in me right now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hit me up if you want to. Uh, Try testing the radio sometime during the week. Yeah, yeah. I, I got I'm gonna have to sit down with the tutorial and just do it one by one. Yeah, yeah. We could just fucking go through all the it's, checks. It's making me nuts. Yeah, me too. And so. I, I keep forgetting that I've got a button bound in game. No, not in the game. In SRS that selects radio one or radio two. Right. And I think that might be the key. That yeah. you, you tell SRS because SRS maybe on the F-16 doesn't know what radio it's broadcasting on because it's right. just making me crazy. Yeah, that does make sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that yeah, same Roger, thing. Uh, have one key bound for radio one, one key bound for radio two. Yeah, so if you want if you want to jump back in, we can test that now and then okay. we can. All right, I'll do that. Because I forgot one, one thing I did in SRS, I set COM1 to be my left ear and COM2 to be my right ear. Ah, uh, 
but none of that made any difference until I pressed the key. So on yeah. number pad seven and eight on the key, on the number pad part, are radio one and radio two. And once I did that, I started hearing them in different ears. Before that, it was all um, stereo. Oh, yeah. okay. Hey, Misha, remember that what you pick in SRS has to translate in game. So if you pick whatever button in SRS, that same button has to be in the in DCS as well. Oh, okay, that's well, what I didn't do. That's, that's why. I that's what I haven't done, and that's why it doesn't know what the hell. Okay, let me go see if I can fix that. That's why I couldn't talk to you guys. So radio one, radio two. All, all, all I have is uh, push to talk, map to one button. That's probably what my issue is too. Splash. Shock. Yeah, I have uh, uh, the, the thumb hat yeah, Roger. And throttle. Same as Arma. So we're gonna map a button that. So you, you're gonna map a button that activates radio one or or broadcasts on radio one. Well, key. yeah, that's the key question, isn't it? So in yeah. the controls in SRS, I have radio one set as button seven two, and radio two set as button seven three. Okay. And for me, that is the number pad seven and eight, so left and right. And then I have a push to talk. So push to talk PTT mm -hmm. is my how to talk on the, you know, activate the radio. Yeah. But the problem for me is I always forget that I have to select the radio first. And when I hit push to talk, I don't know what SRS is doing. Right. So then I got to find the radio selector in DCS. So I guess it's not under radio. It must be under the upfront control or whatever that's called. Yeah. All right, so I have it the same as you. 72 is radio 1, 73 is radio 2. I have my push to talk set for uh, push to talk button. And I will launch the game up. Oh, there we go. There's a communications menu. No, communications is the backslash. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Communications backslash, yeah, yeah. Got a four wire. All right, so I'm on TV right now, Bob. Deck should be clear very shortly. Okay, I'm still six minutes. Up. Deck is clear. Yeah, for some reason I'm not getting a solution uh, on a south to north run. Uh, I'm going to have to come back from the north. Saw a copy. That was the most garbage approach I've ever done. I'll be coming in shortly. Hopefully my approach is not garbage. Last week, I had, or two weeks ago, I had a pretty good land. Oh yeah, pack that Eurofighter has some weird reviews, man. I don't know. I, know. If, it's, I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, I know. It I does. think the the Navy one looks better. The Raphael? No, the uh. The you mean the American one? Yeah. Oh, you mean the trainer jet? Yeah. I want something that goes to Supersonic though. Yeah, I know. Me too. 
the F the F uh, fifteen is uh, better than the uh, Eurofighter based on the reviews they say, but I was never really a big fan of the F fifteen as much. Oh, it's my favorite plane. I mean, I like it, but. Oh my god. Fucking. Couldn't even fucking spot my targets. Landed, crashed, burned. My head hurts. Let's see if this radio thing works. So, I don't know if it's the same in the F 16, but. Uh, I wasn't able to lock onto my target for a while, but that's because I forgot to SOI my uh, um, HSI or SA page. Yeah. And then once you do that in your weapon designate, once it's SOI, then it'll appear on your targeting pod. Yeah. I don't know if that's yeah, the same. Yeah, my, my thing's always soy on my uh, thing too, but uh, I couldn't get the pod to lock onto the waypoint area. And that happens to me literally every fucking mission. Then I fucking, it bothers me all day. I launch up a single player mission, like a training map thing that I have. Fucking get over the area, it locks perfectly on the waypoint. I lock my target, bomb releases, laser works, everything's fine. Get in the game on a Sunday morning, nothing works. We're gonna do testing this week, I guess. Let's figure out why it's not working. Yeah, we need to make sure our radios all are perfect too. So I'm the, the F-18 is like I don't know. I've never had really any issues with it in terms of dropping ordnance. Yeah. I missed a bomb earlier, but that's because my apparently my laser turned itself off. But Subjects. <laughs> uh, so, Brad, are you in yet? Uh, ninety five percent loaded in the game. Excuse okay. Me. So push to talk doesn't specify which radio on the... Yeah, you have to select the radio in the aircraft that you want to push to talk on. And that's the thing I always forget, because I'll start pushing to talk, but I haven't selected a radio. So there's only one push to talk switch? I yes. Think. Now, when I was flying, just, like, I've been switch switching radios, like, before I realized. Like, today, like, I went to COM, I think it was... One. There's a there's a key binding or a setting in SRS you need to turn on, so that way you can set up different keys to activate radio one or two instead of doing it in game. Right. Yeah, yeah but it, if you do it in game or if you do it with a key bind, it's the same result, right? I mean, I just have num numbers on my numpad one and two to switch between radio one and two. Yeah, that's what myself and uh, Misha have too now. But you need to make sure uh, in settings under controls, cockpit integration, allow SR, always allow SRS hotkeys. Oh my turn god. Turn that on. Oh, okay. We would, so we would, go we look would, at that. We, we would have never found that out. If you have always allow SRS hotkeys on, it'll overwrite any of the like in plane settings, I guess. Gosh, man, that's like Illuminati that's... level information. That, that'll let you switch between radios using custom keys, not the actual plane. Cockpit integration. Right. Yes, control slash cockpit integration. Always allow SRS hotkeys. And that's in the uh, SR SRS uh, controls thing there? Copy on the pickle. Is this in the yeah. DCS options or the SRS options? SRS settings. Okay, all right. Okay, so settings. 11 miles out. Yeah, SRS settings and then control uh, slash cockpit integration. Yep. Always allow SRS. Oh, 
have snapped. Turn that on. Now that now we, I'm sure we'll be golden now. Should be able to switch radios now. I'm almost loaded in. Radio check two five three. Gosh, gosh, Fucking finally. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, I, I followed you guys. I actually overflew your flight. I don't know if you even yeah. saw me. Well, we heard you on radio comms earlier, and then you just kind of just... Like, I was trying to contact you on guard, 252. Right. Yeah, I wasn't here in guard either. Well, now you should be able to. And then I didn't... So I didn't drop any weapons, obviously, because I wasn't in contact. Yeah. Makes sense. Hey, we blew up a lot of buildings, though. Almost all of them. That's the easy part. Yeah, it is. That is actually the easiest part. Thanks for my fucking ball. I'm gonna hit this ball three wire, hopefully. How far out are you? I'm about to enter case three. I'm nine point six out. Okay. I'm trying to fly, my dog is banging against my elbow. Knocking the jet around the sky. Close SRS, I'll be right back. Hook coming down. All right, I'm joining now. Wait, this is a clean landing. graphics card this week if I could find one anywhere. Good luck, bro. I think it's still a major drought. Yes. It's been so long. 
I blame the Chinese. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, me too. Blame the Chinese. Why am I... Chinese and Joe Biden for some reason or other. <laughs> why not? Yeah, I'll just throw them in there. Why not? I'll lose some altitude, baby. Like, I've never said to myself in the past that I'm going to get the best graphics card on the market. I had the money ready to go. Now I'm ready to do it, and there's literally no graphics cards on Earth available. Like, <laughs> you know. Really? Well, like I mean, like a like a 3090 or a 3080 series, or it's even hard to get a 2080. Wow. Like any of the stores or anywhere, uh, scalpers are selling them for like you know two thousand bucks and all that what? Kind of crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, th there's like, just no supply. No supply anywhere. It's been like Micro that for like months. It's been like that for almost a year, I'd say. I've been waiting for almost a year to get a brand new graphics card. I'm rocking my 1050 Ti. Oh yeah, I got a 1660 uh, Ti. Yeah, I've got the 1660 as well. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay here for the foreseeable future. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, actually, I, I mean, I I had a 10. I have to redo that. What the? I think oh my my course is wrong on my fucking hat can. I thought you were Wait. going for the helicopter carrier. Yeah, my course is wrong on the tap can. I'm coming back up. I don't... Yeah, we, I didn't see the BRC in the brief, but I figured it was north. Yeah, I am... Uh, if you checked so in, it'll tell you. Starting up my engine, Misha, so we can test these radios. Do this. Cool. I'm pretty sure that was the fix we were looking for, though. Between those two buttons and that little uh, mapping, should be golden. I mistook the LHD ones too. I had to go around. All right, so settings, and let me see. Try this again, Sean. Okay, Pack. I don't have SA on you. I'm uh, 12 uh, east uh, northeast. Okay. Gear down, shall Flaps down. Did you set that up in settings or controls? Settings. Settings. What was it called again? Oh. I'm trying to land a carrier. Sorry, right okay. around. Yeah, okay. that's okay. okay. I got it. Um, so scroll down to the section that says control slash cockpit integration on the settings page. The settings page. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't realize I can scroll all the way down here. Yeah, I didn't either. And then it's always allow SRS hotkeys needs to be on. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I was like, oh, and there's one above it that says radio switch works as push to talk. Yeah. Oh yeah. I see. Sounds I don't, important. I don't do that because I want to switch the radio separately. But here we go. All right. Well, let's test those. Also, all right. So I'm gonna have the uh, always allow SRS hotkeys first, but radio switch works as push to talk off, and test it. Yeah, let's do that because I use the, you know, those are my numpads. I use this just to pick the radio. Yeah, yeah, me too. So I have it like literally the same way you have it right now. So we'll, we'll, we'll just try that and see if that works. And if it doesn't, we'll cry. All right. Um, so I don't have to Crossing save anything. Left, right, do right. Right. Just set. All right. Yeah, I, did, I didn't see that either. It's just get it back yeah. Okay. Come on. All right. The aircraft is on. Let's see. So, let me press the 7 and see what happens. Check hook. I have to hold well, is my hook not down? My... Hook's Here. not down. What? Oh, I have my 7 and 8 already mapped to something in the game, so I gotta. It... Just move yeah, that. I think it defaulted to one of the controls, yes. but I don't what? It was down when I took. Yeah. I never brought it up. Just uh, go right Well, here. thank you. 8. Alright, let me just delete this. You're good this. now, you're configured. Clear. What the fuck? You up. Clear. 
here. <sighs> I brought it down earlier. I don't understand. Hear that. Hear that. Flaps at least down. I'm just deleting all these view uh, binds that are there that I'll never use. Right, yeah. Are you going back around? Back? Yeah, because I'm just right here. I'll take the two. Yep, yeah, alright. Uh, I'm outside. Uh, still in the stack. Okay. Heading south. Okay. Took care of that. Um, alright, let's see. Eight. Got to press this. Okay. Try this again. I'm still confused on how the fuck my hook was. Okay. Oh, well, you're all good now. Oh yeah. I noticed you guys lined these ships up for downwind. Is Copy. that why you did it? Yeah. Let me see if this works now. Wait, am I supposed to see my radio? Why is my throat? display screen? change channels when I press either 8 or 7? Is that how it's working for you? Well, that's how it's working for me now. I've got those bound in-game and in SRS. So it seems to act like a toggle. If I if you hit 8 twice, well, I mean, you can click it with your mouse, COM2, and, and try that. So COM2 brings me to VHF on 127. It says pre number 1. So and you're then on ending. channel 1, 127. Okay. Yeah, solid copy, solid copy. Full focus here. Ah. Okay, way better. That's real good. Fucking focus, I wasn't really focusing, I guess. There we go. Perfect roll. Come check again. I see it. the display didn't change or it's anything. It's almost like they paid seven. Uh oh. Oh, I'm on two five two, but the the uh, little uh, screen says I'm on VHF one two seven. Give me a three wire. Uh, three wire. Go to your window. Oh, right four wire. wire. Yes, yeah, yeah, four wire. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Why did and they say that to me? That just landed. Yeah, I don't know. And then I bound. Up. Scroll down to ICP com override button. That's ICP that. Com. There's some identity issues going on here. There are. Wait, did you? Was that is that a communications uh, tab? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Let me. Well, if you just go to all or search. Okay. Search yeah. for ICP. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, you're clear, Frank. Yeah, I'm heading in. ICP. How about uh, 12 oh, south? Oh, yeah, ICP override button. Turning towards the boat. Yeah, so that's the COM 1 and 2 buttons on your, your up front. Oh, you know what? You, I bound mine to 7 and 8, but I don't know that you re we really need to do that because I always just click it with the mouse. Right. But I just realized I have a whole bunch of but free buttons on my uh, throttle that I can use just a quick switch. Oh, well, that would let you quickly change between one and two that would be handy yeah i think i'm gonna do that right now because uh there's no need for flaps so i have that kind of like switch free oh yeah that's true oh, oh yeah. i never thought about that yeah i could use the flap button i got a flap button on my uh stick yeah yeah i mean the s16 is probably the only jet that you don't need to have a flap button for set for that i know of uh, let's see, so yeah, I'll take that. Alright, so comms one and comms two. That should be simple stuff right there. Oh, yeah, it works perfectly. So, UHF 252, comm check. And, uh, hold on a second. Something's a little weird here. So wait, if I do this, oh, maybe there's a preset I can also map too. Maybe I can map a preset, but 
Or I could just switch and it'll change the preset too. Okay, I'm five out. If I go to comms one, on the screen it says, you know, VHF on 127. And then if I click the button and I go to comms two, it brings me back to like that screen. Oh, maybe yeah, I Yeah, it, it like toggles between the two comm channels. Just so clicking the same one twice has the same effect as clicking one or the other. Yeah. It's a little weird. Yeah. So I'm going to stay on the UHF, but try broadcasting on VHF, because I didn't hear you. Okay. VHF, com check. You didn't hear me transmit, did you? Yeah, I heard you just there. Yeah, I heard you just there. So wait, wait, wait. Um, I'm transmitting on VHF, but you're hearing me on UHF? Yeah, and the weird thing is, I'm, I'm hearing you in my left ear, which is the UHF channel, so you may be transmitting on both, this, so we may still have this hosed up. Yeah, we might. Um, UH, so now it says UHF 252, main 252, preset 1. Now yeah, if I that's press, exactly what mine says. Okay, so now if I go to VHF, it says VHF 127 on uh, sorry VHF on 127 127 pre-1 127NB so let me freak let me broadcast on that and see what happens com check com check on 127 VHF yeah see I, I'm still hearing you and I'm hearing you in my left ear so that's mm. there's something strange going on yeah alright well I guess the only way to there's no way for us to test it. I don't have an F-18, so... Yeah. I wonder if that's just part of the F-16 that's not finished. I don't... I wouldn't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I... I just don't know. I'm gonna have to watch a tutorial, I guess. Alright, so I've moved over to the VHF. Go ahead and transmit again. Okay, VHF. Comp check, comp check. Yeah, see, I'm still hearing you in my left ear. Well... Huh. Uh, wow, Frank, that's a perfect configuration. So transmit again. Com check, com check. Yeah, this, yeah, this wind is messing me up, though. All right, my, yeah. My ghost velocity vector is off my screen. I'm gonna check. I'm just gonna look, browse at this uh, SRS little. Uh, You're screen. right on the numbers. Thing here for a sec. Let's see. Uh, Auto select first channel preset on. Shit. Well, you know <laughs> what, uh, Ryder? Probably turning on the transponder overlay would help us. Transponder over Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we get the pop-up in the screen. Yeah. That way yeah. we know what it's doing. Exactly. Right, let but see what, let but see it see. didn't come on, so how do I start it? Do I have to stop SRS? Uh, um, you know what? I think it's another page where you can make it uh, visible, like you can see. Oh, things. so like a DCS control? Um, I think it's somewhere on the uh, SRS client thing here. Let me just browse. You can, make, you can make it pop oh, up. Oh, you're right. Pop, yeah, show the pop up or something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like where it's, uh, you can um, change how visible it is or not. Bingo. Let me see. I can't remember what the tab is though. I've seen it a million times too. Oh, toggle overlay. Oh yeah, here. So I don't yeah, have yeah. that set. Yeah. Bolter. Toggle radio overlay. Yeah. Yep, that works. Okay. All right. So now. Let's see. All right, so now I have the overlay on in game. Yep, and so now when I press seven and eight, it shows the green button to the right of the channel that I'm going to transmit on. Oh, really? Yeah. So, it'll, like, my little overlay says the two five two is top, and then below that's one twenty seven. 
Oh yeah, I see it. I did and it if too. I hit seven, it selects two five two. Yeah, gotcha. I see that. See now when I just mapped my uh Oh I see what I did there. Okay, I got it. Yeah, so mine is working like I would think it would be. So now you're on two five two UHF uh main preset one, right? And then on the uh, on the overlay thing that we just activated, the bottom it's it's one two seven a.m. or one two seven dot zero 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 a.m. and it's yellow, correct? Yeah, it's yellow, which means it's not active. It's right? not active, yeah. So comp check two five two on the green on the green uh, indicator. Cool. Let me change channels now. See how that works. 127 com check. Yeah, I heard you in my right ear that time. Hmm. So I did hear you on 252, or I'm sorry, 127 in my right ear. Okay. So we're good. Yeah, I wonder if that's worth setting up. You might, I mean, are you interested in that? Because it helps me, at least it used to in Arma, to have different channels and different ears. Uh, yeah, it does actually. Because um, I. I have, uh, when I'm playing Arma, I have my uh, command net in both my ears. I have, like, you know, my fire team in one ear. Um, right, so that that's back on the settings page and scroll down to the audio section. Ah, uh, yeah. And then radio one, I drug the control all the way to the left, and radio two, audio channel, I drug it all the way to the right. Ah, uh, okay, yes, good idea. And so that way you're getting two different... Yeah. And, get, and because it matches the way the comms are set up, the little buttons. Yeah. That, that way it, it lets you know what channel you're on. Yeah. All right, well, maybe we got that working now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully, right? I mean, I'd rather do it like, like this now, and uh, we're squared away, you know? Yeah. Um, all right, let's see. So, um, pump check 252. Yep, I heard you on my left ear, 252. All right, so now I'm going to press... Number eight, switch to one two seven. Got the green light. One two seven, comp check. Yep, heard you in my rider. Great. You want to uh, send it back and let me see? Are you still in? Yep, I'm still in. Okay, cool. Yeah, copy. Oh yeah, that's golden. Two five two is in my left, subtle, and one two seven is a little louder in my right ear. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, All right. Great, great. All right, I'm out of here before I break anything. <laughs> All right, buddy. Good flying with you. Yep, had fun. All right. See you. Uh, oh, I mean, um, yeah, we might set up a flight during the week or something uh, in, in case the uh, hind comes up. You know, a little training uh, map we'll have set up or something to fly around. Oh, yeah. Get it up on the server. All right, that sounds good. I'll look forward. All right, man. Cheers. Have a good See day. ya. See you, Frank. Take care. Well, that solves that problem for us, at least. Have you guys been using your uh, intercom the same way, like with the little uh, pop-up screen and all that, or...? Uh, I don't use the uh, radio interface. Okay. The pop-up. Yeah. So did you, uh, did you all land, uh, nicely and everything? I'm still working. Oh, really? Third time's the charm here. Cause I'm low on fuel. Is it windy? It is, for me. Yeah. No, you shot two beautiful approaches so far. I didn't, didn't catch. See, I cage my flight path marker so it stays on the uh, center of my HUD so I can judge right at the scent. Unfortunately, that doesn't tell you which way the aircraft's going. <clears throat> and I am way, way back here.
get all your targets packed. I'm high. How's your gas? Uh, just over 700. Oh, you got plenty.
three wire. Nice job. Nice. I'm down after three. Three tries. I'm sure that's happened many times to people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bingo. Make you buy all the beers down in the wardroom. Yeah. Yeah, at least you made it back. 400 pounds left. It's all taxpayer gas, it's all good. <laughs>